I've never really been in the dating game, but I have observed it. And in the last 10 years, the amount of choice has just exploded. With dating apps, you're just swiping right or left. And even if you connect with someone, I feel like some of my friends are going on a next date anyway, just because they can and something better might be out there. Listen, nothing better is out there. Just settle for whatever closest neighbor is not your cousin like we did back in Canada. Don't get into a relationship with someone who is crazy. I know that that seems sexy at first. Men especially, I know, are really into like crazy women. Um, look, we're all a little bit crazy, but if you're going to be in someone else's house, you want to know that they're not going to like attack you in the night or go through your phone. Just a picture, especially a face-tuned picture, if you do not have that app downloaded immediately before you post another picture online, Nobody is who they say they are. I used to look at like really unattractive people in the street, pushing a pram with a baby in it, an unattractive baby. And I'd say to my mom, how did they find love? And my mom would say, well, darling, it's a lot easier to find somebody when nobody wants you. She was right. That beautiful bitch was right. I have never been on a dating site. If you are seeing me now on a dating website and you think we're in love, you are being catfished. Do not hand over the 10 grand, just walk away. And don't stay friends with your exes. How do you think we found all the exes from the show? Like don't ether that ex or else you'll be confronted by them on your face or mine. Brand new, your face or mine. Starts May 17th on Comedy Central.